Okay. The reason <laughs> to listen on Spotify, click the link below. <laughs> the reason that um, the reason that Nia is here is um, why am I here? We're gonna do uh, a game show of sorts uh, right now. Basically, what it was is uh, it's always funny to watch politicians um, when they're running for a certain office try to sort of politi politically uh, correct their way through through a tough question to answer they, something. They never answer the question tactfully. They never answer the question. They never answer the question truthfully. That's for certain. So uh, we were thinking we should do a game show where. We get random, really hard questions thrown at us, us being Bill and Graham and myself. And the goal is you have to answer these questions truthfully, but without losing any votes. That's the trick. Uh, the second we smell bullshit, you get buzzed by the other players. Uh, and the second you spin it too hard into something else, you get buzzed. But also, if you're too brutally honest, you get buzzed too. So we yeah, understand the rules. We're basically sitting around going, these fucking politicians, they never answer questions. And then we're like, well, if you actually answered them honestly, you'd lose votes. And then we started talking shit, going, I could fucking do that. So now we're going to see. All right. So we're here's how we're going to do it. Go ahead. Nia's going to ask the question. She's going to pull them randomly out of that. Some of them are easier than others, right? Mm hmm. We'll go in order. Billy will get asked a question first. While he's be while he's answering his question, Nia, myself, and you, Greer, will act as the judges. Okay. Uh, when it's my turn, How many points you, Billy, Nia, judge, okay. and Got so it. on. Uh, this feels like when the electricity goes out and you're like, "Fuck, we got to play a board game here." <laughs> <laughs> we'll just give we'll give one we'll give board one point for question. Fuck it, and you got like um, 17 seconds to answer. All right. <laughs> wow. So. No, we're very accurate. We do a lot of research here. Okay. So here we are. This is, uh, who wants to be a politician? All right. <laughs> it feels like college radio. <laughs> Fuck that. We did a great job for two hours and 40 minutes. This is yeah. some shit. This, this is where the show might jump the shark, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> this might be funny. All right. All right, Nia. Let's, let's... With our host, Nia. All right. So the first question. Oh. Did, for you, Bill Burr. Okay. Do Jews run the media? Oh, wow, you hit me fucking hard right off the bat. Well, I would definitely say that uh, there are a lot of Jews in the media, but to suggest that they're all working as one is a little too, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of them. Uh, but no, I'd say that they don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say anything any you Semitic. Jumped, you backpedaled at the end. <laughs> yeah. but, all, yeah. but there's a bunch of Irish guys who are cops. You know what I'm saying? Everybody picks something that they run. Well, you know what? You should have said that as your answer, and you would have gotten a point. Really? Yeah. You know what? You should stop being so is smug. Time up? Is Shut up. Time up you gotta stop being so smug, like like you're fucking up by 50 points. <laughs> it's, it's Wait a second, up. though. Where is where's the timer, though? I'm holding it right all here. Right, all right. So timer. you could kind of include it. That last part. question. You gotta keep it going. All right. Next question. Uh oh. Who's this one for, for Greer? Greer. Okay. Greer Barnes. Greer Barnes. Greer Barnes trying to get elected. <laughs> are Asian people rude? Um, I wouldn't say that Asian people are rude. Um, <laughs> I just. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He just uh, lost Chinatown. <laughs> um, you know, it's just really, uh, honestly, hard to understand them at times. At times. And, and, <laughs> and that explains. And that explains why. That's rude. That's rude. That's rude, right? rude. They speak loud because there's a lot of them. <laughs> So, yeah, and they're what all talking, what? so they have to, worse and worse. I don't, because they always go like that when they talk, you know, like, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, neither one of us again. All right, Joe, you're the fucking big shot. Let's is 17 in. seconds enough? When I went air, that was 17 seconds. Oh, yeah, and it's uh, horrendous. Do you have a buzzer sound over there, Danny, oh. so we don't have to listen to Joe's version of a woman <laughs> coughing? <laughs> just, just, oh. Oh All right. All right, what do you got for Joe? All right, for Joe DeRosa. Sweatshops, do you care? They're so far away, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they are very far away. Um, I think it is definitely uh, an unjust policy that's going on over there. And uh, I don't think that it should be happening. But then again, uh, we all need sneakers. So, um, <laughs> you know. Dude, you had it right there. You had it. You could have bailed right there. <laughs> where are the places Man. where there are sweatshops? The Philippines? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Taiwan? I don't know. As long as Foot Locker's full, I'm cool. Oh, I almost had a point. I did blow it. That sucks. Right. Here's a good one for you, Bill. Okay, I can do this. Are women funny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Next one. <laughs> All right, Greer, you're up. That was brilliant. All right. You get the point for that, right? That Greer. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Mexicans. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? They were here first, right? Um, I'm going to have to say no, they weren't here first. They weren't called Mexicans then. Uh, wow! There goes and Tex Mex. All that shit's gone. And let him go. <laughs> and and you can, and, uh, let him go. Go back across the border. Jeez, Greer, what, what did you, you butt him? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Danny, you fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah. How far is he going to go before he gets disqualified? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, Joe. Yes. Why do black eyes have to be so loud? I don't know, but it's... She's asking the black man that. It's, it's kind of annoying. I, it's nothing against black guys themselves, but they are loud and they do yell a lot. It's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right, I don't be yelling. <laughs> okay. All right, Bill. Yep. At what age does someone become useless, and what should we do about it? Um, I would say 86 if you can't drive. And, come on, dude, I mean, I, I can't even get halfway through it. Who votes after 86? Just to keep score, no points. Nobody has any points right now. You, 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 you got you had half a point. All right, this is the last round here. Oh, Jesus All right, Christ, Chris. man. Do you support the troops? Absolutely. I just don't support the war. Oh, mm. dude, yeah. Perfect. There you go. Okay. No, that was perfect. Right, good. All right. One point for Greer. <laughs> going to be a black president. Come on, Joe. Step okay, it up. Joe. <laughs> Gay marriage. Yay or nay? Yay. Of yay. course, I think you it makes more sense. Just say yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yay. It was written in the question, though. Huh? It says yay or nay. And Joe wrote the fucking questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Are we still doing this? Let's do one more quick round, round, and then we'll go to the, the porn right. stuff. Uh, Bill, didn't we do more with this land than the Indians ever would have? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're getting shit-faced out on the fucking uh, <laughs> reservation, so... I mean. <laughs> what, you guys don't want honesty in your politicians? Okay? I'm Bill Burr. I say how it is. I say how it is. You, I can't if believe... You, if you can't handle the truth, then I'm not the one that you want to have I can't believe senator. you led that off with, yeah, absolutely, you <laughs> fucking smug prick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, really? All, right. All right. So One more for Greer, one more for me, and okay. we're done. All right. Uh-oh. Sorry. It's okay. I thought we were stuck. Joe, you, you, have, to, you have to win. All right, Greer. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Ooh, is it time for a female president? Um, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker gets all the easy <laughs> no, but fucking he's questions. <laughs> oh yeah, why not? I mean, you're yeah, answering absolutely. honestly, though. I, yeah, absolutely. he's answering easily. No, I'm answering honestly. Why well, not? Okay, I, believe I believe it. Seriously, I believe it. Yeah, he's Greer, sincere. Greer, are you currently in a relationship? Yeah. Are you happy? Next See, question. You know, you don't want a female <laughs> president. We can't believe no. this fucking Let water game. Right just, just for the. <laughs> Dude, my relationship has nothing to do with how yeah, we're, we're running out of time. We have to get to that point. Just for the oh, warmth that he said hoop. honestly with. Okay. All right. So, Joe, you think two guys making out is disgusting, don't you? I absolutely do not. I think it's a beautiful thing, and two men should be able to love each other instead of being... <laughs> oh, you just lost all the red state. You lost all the fucking red state. Graham Barnes with two points. Wins. Oh, All right. I can't get my car back to my girl. I just realized I said I'd be home by like 2.30. So we, we really no, got to really? wrap this up here. We're going to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up on this one. Oh, God, then we got to do relationships. Let's talk about that. You're not married. You're 40. Three. 43. Not married. Do you want to get married? What's, what's, how did you... I would love to get married, but I just, I am fucking terrified of, of, of getting married. And especially in, in this state, it's fucking ridiculous. It's a no fault state. Right. They can, you know, they, if they hang around for 10 years, you got to pay for them for the rest of their fucking, like, Kobe has to pay for that woman for the rest of his life. Right. I know a lot of people are going, oh, well, he has the money. All right, but it's the principle of the thing. You're right. a fucking adult. Get a goddamn job. You're a capable, able body. Job. And stop writing these fucking independent woman songs. And like that you, yeah, yeah. We we can do everything that you can fucking do. And then all of a sudden, when it's advantageous, you just be like, oh, I'm just a girl. I can't do stuff that you can fucking get away with. That it's complete fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's complete fucking bullshit. I worked 20 years to get where the fuck I'm at, and I can lose it all if 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 the person I'm with, which right. I have no control over, just decides, ah, I'm gonna bang the guy across the street, and you're gonna fucking pay for my life for the rest of my life. Jesus. Wow. Oh, and it's totally legal. Yeah. What a racket. It's bullshit. So how long have you been with your girlfriend? Uh, eight years. I'm basically married the way I want to be married. I have no intentions of leaving. It's like Carly. I, I, I'm actually trying to think right now. Like I'm like, look, I'm never going to leave her, so I don't have to worry about the a marriage failing. But there's always there's the, the fly in the ointment if she decides to leave, and it's just like, right. All of a sudden, oh, I'm in my fifties and I got to sleep on a fucking futon. Yeah. These goddamn fucking women in the crowd when you bring it up, they go like, that's right, that's right. It's like me bringing up domestic violence. Somebody hits somebody, and I go, that's right. Yeah, that's what you it's, get. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, God. And they go, oh, well, you shouldn't have married her. They just blame you. It's like, oh, well, you shouldn't have worn that short skirt. What the fuck is wrong with you? A, a bad law is a bad law. These divorce laws are fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. They're fucking ridiculous. And the people have to, like, guys have to organize. You gotta, there's got to be some sort of pushback. 
You went from the rule of thumb to this fucking shit. No fault. You can blow the guy across the street and I gotta pay for your life. Oh my and I gotta move out of this house, you fucking cunt. Are you serious? And all people will hear is, that's hateful towards women, you said cunt. No, that is the definition of a cunt who would do something like that. It's fucking ridiculous. It's unbelievable. So now I can't get married because this fucking law won't change. And I wait for someone else to do it because I just like yelling about it. No, it's ridiculous. I had a buddy of mine. He fucking made it. Made a ton of money. You know, when he was, he was, he was working construction and he started get doing entertainment at night and he got into the business and his wife's going, why don't you stop fucking around? You need to make more money. It was such a, a bitch to him the whole time. He ends up fucking making it. Right? They get a divorce. Okay, and she, in the divorce process, I supported him. Yeah. I did all this. I'm yeah. used to a certain lifestyle. Yeah. That's what I love to. I'm used to a certain lifestyle. Two people are in a relationship that fails. Yeah. And one person gets to continue living as if it didn't fail. While the other person who doesn't get to live the lifestyle has to pay for that fucking lifestyle. Jesus. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Jesus. And it's straight across the board. Britney Spears, when she got divorced, divorced from that backup fucking dancer, yeah, she was. built that guy a studio. He still couldn't make a hit. What the fuck more does she have to do for this guy? And then she gives him all this money, sits around. What does he do? Gets becomes a fat fuck, sitting eating goddamn Doritos all day in some three thousand dollar tracksuit that she paid for. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. So no, I'm not married. <laughs> There you go. End it on that. It's not going to get better than that. That's fucking perfect. Bill, Burr, thank you so much, man. All right, there Sincerely. you go. Sincerely, are you going to say keep it crispy? You don't have to. That's how we end the show. I always think it's funny when you say that. What? Keep um, it crispy. I'm on Pete Holmes. You made it weird. Keep it crispy. Keep it crispy, motherfuckers. Yeah! All right, see ya. <laughs> now leaving Nerdist.com. <laughs> I live in the past a lot. I do. Every morning when I take my dog for a walk, I listen to fucking music. And half the time, I'm fan. I'm always fantasizing that's me singing it and playing. Like, do you guys do that shit? Like, you're, uh, like the, you know, like a utility infielder that can, like, play any position? Like, I can play every instrument when I'm listening to the song. And whoever is the standout in the, that moment of the song, whether it be the singer the, or the fucking tambourine player, whatever's stealing my focus, that's who I am. And half the time, I'm doing it 30 years ago in my high school auditorium. And the whole school is going, wow, that guy is awesome. <laughs> and every once in a while, I'll actually step out of the fantasy and go, Bill, you know, there's really something fucking wrong with you. And then I just laugh, you know. Oh, I throw my head back and I cackle. And then my dog looks at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then she takes a shit and I pick it up. <clears throat> That's my morning. That's how my morning works. Then I come back and I make myself a little breakfast. Hey, by the way, I was I was just going to ask you something. Okay. What were we just talking? I have no memory anymore. What were we just talking about? <laughs> you think you were the one smoking pot? I know. Oh, don't even get them going. <laughs> no, you know what? I only got like I only got like ten emails, and I know there's a ton of people who smoke weed who listen to this. So most people followed the rules, mm -hmm. which was you know it was basically uh, you know don't take the podcast seriously, don't right. name any names, all of that shit. Yeah. But no, I had a bunch of people. Uh, yeah. They thought I was on some self-righteous thing because I haven't drank since October. Even though I'm a, I'm a self-admitted oh. booze bag. And even though I said on the podcast, I said I, there's nothing wrong with smoking weed. I don't give a shit if you smoke more of it. Right. But my point is stop acting like it's this, like, uh, what is the fucking word? Harmless. Not harmless, just like there's no side effects. Like right, the, right, right. Like yeah. there's all this. There's, like this is the shit that's out there about weed. That it's, it's not addictive. Mm -hmm. I drive better when I'm on it. How is that? I don't know, dude. It's like everything's in focus, man. Yeah. They hate that voice. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, potheads, potheads, man. It's like when they drive down the street, man, it's just like not only are you focused on the road, you're taken in nature. <laughs> like all that shit and act like it's the answer to the, all the universe's fucking problems. That shit. That's all I was talking about. I understand that someone, the same way someone can, you know, enjoy getting fucked up, drinking booze. And not be an alcoholic, have it under control, but every once in a while, you know, they go out and get ripped up on the weekend. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. And it also has to do with your age, too. If you're in your fucking 20s, you're still getting blasted Friday, Saturday night. That's fine. You know, but you just put the kids to bed and you're hitting a fucking bong every <laughs> night. I mean, come on. You got an issue. I had, a, I had this dude, right? And that's the thing. This is like, maybe I'm jealous as, as a fucking booze bag here. <laughs> it's just nobody gives like, if you're fucking a pothead, people think it's funny. Right. There's just something that's considered funny about it. But, like, you watch, uh, like, Intervention. Mm -hmm. Okay? They have alcoholics. They, they have people on meth. 
cokeheads, heroin. They got everything. There's not been one fucking pothead. Because they don't do anything exciting when they're high. When you're is a that pothead, what it is? you don't do anything exciting. You sit around, you watch TV, you giggle, you eat. Right. And, that, that's, that's, and then that's you know it. what happens? You go and to if movies. You're not, and if you're not you know? careful, two and a half decades goes by. Right. And you're in your early 40s you're going. you're still sitting on the couch. Yeah, still watching fucking <laughs> Snagglepuss, eating fucking Doritos. That's the thing. Yeah. That was not, a joke. It's not nearly as a... Yeah, it's not nearly as dramatic and exciting no, as someone who's on meth. There's no mothers against weed, man. <laughs> and there's, there's nobody, like when the cops pull you over, there's no weed breathalyzer. You can be fucking baked out of your mind. What can they do to you? They don't have any kind of roadside test to see if you're stoned? I remember they, they, they talked about doing something like that. But those, when they have those roadblocks set up at night, none of it's for weed. All it is is for fucking, it's for fucking booze. Right. Look, this is what kills me, okay? I got an email this week, all right? This guy tells me, he goes, you know, first of all, Mian, you know, you should read. I just do it because it annoys the I shit I laugh out of every him. time at that. I think it's um, funny. This guy goes, you know, you should probably read up a little bit on weed, man, before you go off on it. And he said that I can smoke three and a half grams of weed and be fully functional and drive a car or operate machinery. What is three? I don't know. I don't know. Look. Three and a half grams. And three and a half, I don't know. I don't fucking a know. A joint? Let's just say it is a joint, which I, okay. think, I think it's a little more than that. Okay. All right? Let's just say it is that. Right. You smoke a joint, you're fucking high. You're, you're, high. Not, you're not fully functional. He's confusing his tolerance with being fully functional. Fully functional is getting eight hours sleep, you wake up stone sober. And even if you want to get to the letter of the law, it's like three nights in a row of eight hours sleep, just in case you only got four nights uh, a few nights ago. For you to totally be 100% and you're eating healthy, that's fully functional. All right? Yeah. Smoking three and a half grams of fucking weed, you're not fully functional. Yeah, you you might have an amazing food. tolerance, but you're not, you're not as good as, as the you at 0.0. .0. That's what I'm saying. Or, or like this, this dude who sends me an email and he goes, yeah, people just, you know, they, they, they definitely abuse weed. He goes, but they're not like me where he goes, I just, I just you, know, uh, you know, I pack a bowl every night before I go to bed. Take a couple of puffs and then I go to sleep. This dude does that every fucking night. Now, what is the point of that? If you're just going to smoke and then go to sleep. Now, I might be ignorant, but to point? me it sounds like he's using it as like this sedative, like this right, sleep like aid. Right, instead of uh, Ambien or something. Or maybe it's just his way to unwind. I don't know. That seems every night though. Which is fine. But it goes back to my point where if I had a couple, I'd have to drink probably like, um, like a couple of beers to get like what probably feels like, you know, a couple of puffs of weed, right? Yes? No? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. If I was doing that every night, if every night you were laying here in bed and I would go over here, hey, man, just going to have a couple of Budweiser's and I was sitting here with that fucking happy hat with the straws going in my mouth. Yeah. Wouldn't I'd be you, like, why are you doing this every night? Every night. What's 365 fucking days a year. I would say that to you if you were smoking weed every single night, too. Why do you feel the need to smoke weed every single night? Let me ask you this. What if I only, to argue the pothead side, what if I only had two beers? Versus? If, well, every night. I, well, I didn't drink at all. But on the weekends, I never got shit-faced. Just every night before I went to bed, I drank two beers. I would think that that was weird. You would think it was weird? Yeah. That's, why, yeah. Are you, why are you so uptight, man? <laughs> <laughs> and I think smoking weed is great. I love to smoke weed. It's, it's fun. But I think smoking every single day is a, a little excessive. And I feel like if you talk to anybody who used to smoke that frequently and who doesn't anymore, I think they will tell you that they probably feel more motivated or less depressed or something. It does have right. effects on okay. you. Okay, that's all. I, I mean, I was definitely, I went over the top, as always, because right. that always shakes a few people out of the trees, and then they go, let me tell you something, and they, they fire up the emails, which fuels the podcast. Who's getting who? But, like, I'm, see, that's, that's all I'm saying. Is that what I, the thing that I can't stand about fucking weed is, <laughs> is that people act like there's no consequences to smoking it, and if anything, it expands... Uh, you know, like your creativity and all that type of shit. I think it's like anything. Maybe initially it does, but after a while, or maybe if you do it within fucking reason, yes. But I've seen, you know, yeah, up well, close and personal with uh, nameless fucking people. I've watched, you know, I told that story of, of what's-his-face, who I'm not going to say who, who fucking hit the dude with the car at work. Cause he, thought, <laughs> he thought he had it in neutral, but he had it in gear, and he started, he hit the guy in the fucking head. Yeah. And, and he still... High. Yeah, and yeah. still, he's going, dude, the weed isn't the problem. And it's just, and he gets high every fucking day. I remember one time we went on a road trip, just to fuck with him, right? We were driving on this road trip, and he, he goes to, you know, to break out his fucking shit, right? And we go, no, 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 dude, you can't. You can't smoke. It's a rental car. You can't smoke. 
And he goes, all right, we'll pull over, pull over. I'm like, dude, we're not pulling over. We're not pulling over. And you're not smoking on this trip. Dude, the fucking panic that he went in. He's like, dude, 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 fucking let me out. Let me out then. I'm done. I'm not going on this road trip. He absolutely lost his fucking shit. <laughs> like, and it's be like, you know, if somebody said, I, I, I can't drink. If I wasn't driving, I couldn't drink in the car. Dude, don't drink and drive. Be like, all right, dude, you know? Yeah, you fucking goddamn Mary. Fine, I won't. But this guy was like, it was like he was having a physical fucking, he was a panic attack. Right. If he couldn't smoke his fucking weed. Now, I'm not saying everybody who smokes weed is like that, but what I'm saying is that shit is never fucking reported. The same way when I, when I break your ovaries about the whole, uh, like the women image on TV, like they always show you guys as victims or accomplishing stuff, but they never show the gold digging whore. See, I had you right then until I attacked women. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go. Oh, it was going good. All right. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by the podcast. No, oh, sure, anytime. Yeah, you can you can get ready when you have to get here. Uh, yeah, but the... I don't want to. Like I said, I don't want to distract you. And plus, you start you picking heard? on me. Have you heard? That's the real reason. Stop <laughs> yeah. acting what I'm like what I'm doing here is any sort of an art. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, have have fun tonight, okay? Thanks. Uh, all right. So back to the damp. So, all right. So all you po- uh, not all you all you potheads, just the ten that fucking wrote me and. That wrote me in. That wrote into me. Sorry, the electrolytes again. Um, yeah, I was break, breaking. Can, can, can any pot in out there and just be fucking honest with that and at least admit that maybe it isn't you? That at least you've had a fucking friend of yours who like discovered weed, liked it, really liked it, and then it just became their motivation when they got up. All right. This is. I mean, it's it's fucking unreal to me that the third week in the row. On the podcast, I have to act like this person, you know, exists to the world. Everybody knows this fucking guy, all right? But he's never talked about, and I want to know why none of these fucking burnouts are brought on to intervention. That's what I want him to see. Just some kid sitting there, past, you know, in a fucking weed fog, couple of hacky sacks in the background, his dirty surfer shorts, just fucking toasted out of his fucking mind, and that's all he's been doing for five, six critical years in his 20s. Hasn't finished college. Wake and bake. That guy. Come on. Everybody, I'm sick of it. All that horse shit. It comes from the ground, man. It's fucking annoying. It's fucking annoying. But whatever. I guess I'm becoming too prudish on this podcast. This guy writes, hey, Bill, what the fuck happened? You're bashing hot sluts on South Beach last week. You stopped drinking. You're talking shit about pot like you're fucking Alan Thickey. I didn't know. Does he talk shit about him? About pot, I mean. Uh, you know you know that life is a drag. For Christ's sake, you grew up in New England. You know what I'm talking about. Nine months of shitty weather. Your boss is a prick. All you have to look forward to is the weekend to let loose and unwind. I, Dude, I totally get that. I totally get that. I work for myself, and I still want to get bombed out of my fucking tree. Uh, he says, quit talking shit about pot, would you? Pussy, drugs, and alcohol are all good things. Take care, pal. Yeah, dude, I totally agree with that shit, but you know what I'm saying. First of all, if I go down to South Beach and all I do is talk about how hot the women are, that will be informative, that will be obvious, and that will be one minute of the podcast. You know, everybody knows they're hot down there. But if I talk to them, if I say that they're whores and they look like a bunch of goddamn prostitutes walking down the street, that gives me like eight minutes of shit to go off on. All right? Jesus Christ, do I have to break down the whole process for you people? You haven't figured out. It's a very, you know, it's not a lot of levels to this podcast. You give me a topic, I fucking go off on it with very little knowledge. It annoys people who are informed on the subject, and then they send me emails in, and then I just yell at them, even if they've proven their point. It's basically it. <clears throat> All right. My expectation for human behavior in a crowd is very, very low. I mean, come on. People are assholes, you know? I've been all over the map politically, but it's why certain ways of looking at shit, like when people talk about guns. Well, let's just make them, let's just make them illegal and then nobody will have them. You know, like that sort of thought process is you're, you're acting as though the world is a utopia and that there's not morons and that there's not people who say, I don't give a fuck what the rules are. You're totally not even taking into consideration sociopaths. Which is why that new fucking thing that Obama signed, that whole defense package where now they can just arrest people without a trial, j- put you in jail forever. Without a trial because they just think you're a fucking terrorist. You, you can't give people that level of power. Historically, no one has ever handled that level of power well. Anybody here want to go live in China? Oh, well, you're out there practicing your nunchucks, wearing your wooden slippers, and all of a sudden a van pulls up and you disappear and that's it forever? You want to live there? Of course you don't. You want to live here where they can't fucking do it. Well, they can do it now. 
you know, they just put in a fucking order for a bunch of black fans. That's what I heard. According to holyshit.com, that's what's going down. I don't understand why stuff at that level that affects citizens to that level, why we don't get to vote on it. Do you think it's because we'd say, hey, you know what? Fuck that. Do you understand, like, that is just a jump-off point? Do you think, like, that's just how it's going to stop? Oh, look, you're not terrorist, and uh, you ain't got to fucking prove. You think it's just going to stop with that? That's not how you take away freedom. You don't just fucking do it all in one fail swoop. It's incremental. Next thing you know, you're in goal line D, going, how the fuck did I end up in this situation? You started at the 50. A little push, a little pull, right? Everything was fine. Next thing you know, you're up against the goal line. You think that they're just going to keep it with the terrorist thing? You know? You know they'll wait for a whole other generation of babies to be born, and they always grew up with government having that level of power. Then they add something else to it. Then they add something else. Then that's it. You can't have it, okay? If Tiger Woods can't handle the level of free pussy on a golf tour, how the fuck is our government going to handle a new defense package which basically gave them a mute button? If you had that power, do you, how long before you just started abusing that? If you could just hit mute on anybody who ever disagreed with you, and it just and you could have them whisked away. <laughs> I mean, that is the sociopath's wet dream. That's what that is. That is a fucking mute button. Mr. Stalin, don't you think? That's it. You hit mute. You're done. You're gone. See ya. <laughs> I think I think it's it's fucking insane. And the only thing that I get out of it is that I feel like I was proven uh, correct, that I don't think it matters at that level whether you vote Democrat or Republican. Obama, the first black president ever, you would think this would be the most liberal politician in, in the history of this country. Because of his background, you would think that he signed off on that shit. All right? I'm telling you. I don't know what happens when you become president, but I think they let you peek just enough behind the curtain. And you, there, there is a fucking agenda that we are moving towards. Cause it does, I don't think it fucking matters. I really don't, which is why I always vote for the Ralph Nader, Ron Paul, all those guys that all those fucking idiots go, Oh, because you did that, you ruined the election. Really? Did I? I feel like those guys wouldn't have signed shit like that. I feel like their track record shows that they would not sign shit like that. I, 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 I don't know. I have no, I imagine I'm going to get a ton of fucking emails. I remember somebody was yelling at me one time saying that because I voted for Ralph Nader in 2000, that's why George W. Bush won. And they were just going on and on and on about it. And I was like, dude, I live in New York. Al Gore won my state. Okay? Do you understand that? So your whole fucking theory right now is out the window. I voted for Ralph Nader in New York, and Al Gore still won the state. So go fuck yourself. What I'm trying to do, uh, Mr. Fucking Red and Blue Tie here, I'm trying to fucking encourage more people like that to run. You know? Uncorruptible. How far can you get if you're uncorruptible? I would say that you can get to the... Uh, Whatever level politics is, when you decide whether or not they should put a gazebo in the center of town, I think be, once you get beyond that, you got you got to be a little dirty, right? Um. All right. So let's let's get let's get on to our, let's get on to our argument. So, right. we're we're flying back from New York City. How amazing was I at town hall? You were amazing. Standing yeah. ovation. That's right. You fucking right am. How insecure am I that I had to make you say that for the sixth time? <laughs> You're insecure, but I love I know. you. Exactly. All right, so let's <laughs> plow ahead here. Um, so we're flying back from uh, where we were, Boston at that point. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if we'd already watched the YouTube clip or whatever. Rihanna had gone on TV talking to Diane Sawyer, mm -hmm. breaking it down, yep. talking about, um, you know, getting the shit kicked out of her by that dude with the beaver teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> Like a beaver. He does. He has guy. no business being a pop star. <laughs> um, <laughs> he better too, right? He did. Why wouldn't you? You got to utilize your weapons. So we're sitting oh, there, and it's this really, it's this really sad interview, and she's just like, I just felt silly and stupid no, for, you need to do for your being. Of so this is what I did. So it started <laughs> off as a joke, and I said, All right, this is my impression. <laughs> so wrong. All right. I'd like to go on record as saying that I feel this is so wrong, but I always All right. laugh at. All right. Well, this is the deal. I was talking about how they. She was just saying that you know I found an inappropriate text message, and then things escalated, and then next thing you know he caved in my cheek and started biting me and blah 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 blah. And I was just like, you know what? She left out a lot of the details. And because what I've learned with arguing with women is when women argue, when you, they're not winning or they're not getting you to admit that you're wrong, that at some point they make this switch in there where they're just like, I'm just going to make this person as mad as I possibly can by using every ounce of information that I know about them. So, truth? 
Uh, you know what? That's as good as a yes. Anyway, so this is one of those in-the-moment jokes. I can't even remember what they said. I said, this is my impression of, <laughs> of the conversation before. I can't remember what, how I did it, though. I was like, <laughs> wishing she's from Barbados, but for some reason, I started doing this really bad Jamaican accent. <laughs> and I go, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Who, who be sending you the text, man? Yo, fuck you, bitch. I ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> Yo, man, who gave you the text message, you fucking buck tooth bee? I can't remember what it Somehow I talked oh about his teeth. Oh, my God. And you were laughing your fucking ass off. Yeah, it was funny. I can never recreate that. That's why I had to tap out. And you were laughing your fucking ass off, and it was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. And But then, like, halfway through it, I started making my point of how I'm so sick of every time a woman gets the shit kicked out of her. Not every time, but all these women, they always get, they always get to show guys in that bad light of all these guys who beat the shit out of their women. But... They never show when women fuck over guys, ever, in those situations, ever. Like, you know, the situations that, that, that I've seen where, you know, a friend of mine, you know, she slammed the door into him and then just called the cops and said that he hit her and they, without question, arrest him. Mm -hmm. And then that fucked up his job and now everybody looks at him like he's a wife beater and he never even did it. Right. Yeah. How come Oprah never does shows about that? That was our big argument. And then she somehow, you know me, the way I say shit, somehow it seemed like I was advocating that the guy did nothing wrong. Or and, that, like, just, you know, all women are these horrible, manipulative creatures. Yes. And... <laughs> you're, not, you're not horrible, manipulative creatures, but you guys, you definitely manipulate. Can I ask you about the, the Louis stuff recently? Sure. What was your uh, reaction to it? He comes as back, he does what? comedy, and everybody gets pissed off. Well, I don't think it was everybody. It was well, just, a lot of people. Yeah, some people got pissed off, and a lot of people thought, like, you know, he's had enough. Let him up off the mat. I always equate it to like, you know, I'd watch a buddy of mine get into a fight. I wanted him to win. But after a while, it was like, all right, all right, it's over. You got him. Like, let him up. I mean, they took everything from him. And like, if he wants to go out and go do stand up, I mean, it's a free country. You don't have to like it. You don't have to go to the, sh go to the shows or anything like that. But um, I just wish we could get out of this. I wish we could get back to a, I don't know if that period ever existed, but I wish we could get to a period where you could discuss things and not just... Not just have to pick a well. Have people side start yelling at you and then try to destroy your career just because you have a difference of opinion. Where if you're on the same page, going, "Hey, you know, this behavior is not correct and should be dealt with," and then you're disagreeing on type of punishment, length of punishment, or anything like that, and then it just becomes like this thing where, where uh, that we live in a world now where you have to be afraid to say that stuff. It's you know to people who are allegedly progressive. It's like, how are you progressive if I have a difference of opinion and so then you're gonna to try to destroy me, is, 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 is the irony of that. I don't have a problem if somebody disagrees with me. I would never try to go out, you know, and, and like ruin them to the point that they're out on the street, you know? Um, and then I also have like a, like a, you know, there's a lot of shit where it's just like, uh, this sounds like a job for the authorities and people who went to law school as opposed to me, who's just some people on Twitter. Yeah. And, and me, like, what the fuck do I know about the legal system? I don't, I, you know, I don't know any, any uh, of this stuff, but like most people, I do have an opinion and, um, you know, I, I don't have a problem if somebody disagrees with me. I would never go after them like that, especially if they haven't done anything other than weigh in on a, on a topic. It's bizarre. Like everybody on, on the internet, they're just such good people. Like, you know, without having to demonstrate it. That's what I love. Like there'll be like a hashtag. I saw one. It was this, uh, Things I don't tolerate. And adults were literally weighing in on this. And then they were just saying all of this obvious applause break shit like racism, bigotry, my favorite one, mean people. It's like, what are you, fucking five mean people? And that's just like, like, what did you have to demonstrate that you don't do that? Now, is there video of you being somewhere with a bunch of white people and someone drops the N-word and then you don't tolerate it? Is there any of that evidence or did you just fucking just write a bunch of shit and it becomes like this self-serving fucking thing that's allegedly for the better good of society when it really isn't. It's like all those jerk offs on Instagram acting like they're trying to inspire you and they're just trying to show you all the cool shit they have and their six pack abs. You know, I'm so fucking sick of people on Instagram telling me how hard they're working. Yo, we out here grinding out here trying to get this paper. It's just like, yeah, everybody is. Oh, do you have to work hard in life? I didn't realize that. It's just like my favorite one. I love the one too, where you bring all your cars out around the private jet. And it's just like, did you drive all those out there yourself? And you just Ubered back to your garage? Did that take all day? Or did you, did you have the gardener drive over? 
the Hummer. I like the, the LeBron <laughs> and then Instagram workouts. You have to workouts. stand there and you cannot be looking at the camera. You got to be looking, you got to be looking, looking off. sideways. Yeah. And you got to have a look on your face. This is like, you know, this is how we do it, man. This is, oh, was that how you do it? I didn't know you could do it like that. I would have done it that way had I known how to do it. How do you do it? Oh, we're working hard. It's just like, it's like, none of this means anything. It's just, it's just somebody sh trying to, it's just like, just, just be an arrogant ass. Stop acting like you're trying to fucking help me. The LeBron Instagram workout videos. You knew the old videos. man in me was going to come out at some point. I was fucking for podcast. The LeBron Instagram workout videos. Like, I can't imagine uh, Bird of Magic doing that 30 years ago, 35 years ago. Well, in defense of him, though, that didn't exist. They would have. They would have been people who did that shit. Bird never would have had it. Bird was like tarring his driveway during the summers. Like, Bird hurt yeah. his back tarring his fucking driveway. I know. Because they gave you that one standard brush. Yeah. I remember that. You I remember, want to pay somebody $7 an hour to do his driveway. He's making like. A million dollars well, that's a year. A, yeah, how cheap Come he on, was. Larry. When he was in the cheap. Olympic Village, yeah. he paying eight dollars for a beer, and his six foot nine self just walked down the street you always, to a bar to go get a beer. <laughs> yeah, and then all like the uh, I've seen the new trend is like the like beautiful women that have like millions of Instagram followers just because they post swimsuit, you know, photos and stuff. Like every three weeks or something, have to post something about the the stress that they went through. Like when oh, they yeah. were like, I've been judged on my appearance so many times. And we're feeling happened. ugly. I was called I, ugly yeah, when I, I was, was younger. Yeah, welcome to the fucking club. Right. And it's like, what, your whole business is just that you're hot. I know. Like I was called ugly and I am ugly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I couldn't even sue them for slander. I was, I was literally you just called you ugly this morning. can't crawl out of that hole. Yeah, exactly. I was accurately called ugly. Right. <laughs> Humiliating. <laughs> I was called ugly. My, my comeback was fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Show your eyes work. <laughs> you know what's weird? Those Instagram butt models. I follow many. It's weird the guys who like them. Why do you have to click? Just enjoy it. What oh, yeah. You, you want of... attention, I guess? No, I don't know. They don't the, know. There's the hope that they, is they that gonna, is? they're going to pull you out of their depression with their <laughs> sculpted ass. Yeah, they're they're going right. to back it into your life and the sun's going to start shining on you. It's they're like going to scroll through their likes. There are 10,000 yeah, likes. And find that you. one, yeah, that was a nice guy. He liked me. It's hope. Yeah. It's like the stripper, the guy, the stripper guy who's like, she likes me. We go, people go crazy online. Like any of those pictures, if you start reading the comments, guys will be leaving comments. Like grown men that are like, oh, oh, I love you. You're such a beautiful spirit. And oh, it's another great photo, but I really love you too. I love your personality. We should yeah. meet sometime. They want to be special. But I'm special. It's just it's it's mental illness. It's <laughs> I see through that piece of thong between your butt cheeks to the to the you're the soul, the person that you are. That's right. right. I saw it through your anus. <laughs> I saw your soul through your anus. Yes. It's... Like a telescope, I looked up through your asshole and saw your heart. Saw your soul. <laughs> yeah, they say the butthole is the window to the soul. So I saw it. It, it was it's beautiful. One thing I will say about butt models, they promote each other. They're yeah. so generous. They promote each other. Like, you got to check out my girl Kiki. But you know, no other group does that. You know that's clicky. You know there are butt models that yeah, have been, that have been cast true. away from the other butt models. Like, no, no, I no, think no, that they've always been more like open than titty models. Titty they... models are very uh, because they're not in right now. Right, the titty tits are not in. No. Tits were like tits of the seventies, nineties. Yeah. They kind of went with those big balloon tits that right. they used to have with like the fucking almost like they had like bloodshot eyes. They were so <laughs> stretched out. <laughs> 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 it was like then, three feet in between they, them. They just jumped the shark. There was like no way to go with that. So then it became about, now it's about the ass. Yeah. You know, so they're all supporting each I other. I do like that though. Not not a giant, giant, but I do like a nice fat oh, rump. It's the best. Yeah, but the asses have gotten so ridiculous and big. Like now it's like, it's the same thing that happened the with, fake with breasts. The fake ass is the best. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever felt one? You can no. tell when you feel oh, yeah? a fake ass. Yeah, you can feel it. It feels, it's a harder, it's soft, but it's almost like, remember how Stretch Armstrong used to feel? Oh, like the that gel? Toy? Yeah, you, that's what <laughs> that's it feels so like. That's so specific. Yes, I do. <laughs> I know that gel. <laughs> wow. No, I just love it. It doesn't move with the legs. It just, it's just it's sitting there like a lunchbox. A lunchbox you want to fuck, right? Yeah. Right. It's just, it's just, you know, there was, uh, what the hell was it? I think it was in a gym or something like that. I saw one recently, but I saw one out here. Mm -hmm. It surprised me. There's a lot of them in L.A. Yeah, more, yeah. more so. More yeah. so in like, you know, uh, uh, Miami. Tech, like Dallas, Miami, and Orange County is where I see the most uh, um, extracurricular uh so is that what you're Makeup. doing on the road now? Now that you kind of been into every like sports stadium, you've seen all the games. Yeah. Now it's like I need to I need to monitor the fake asses in each city. Yeah, that's like, okay. Okay. No, I just noticed uh, like uh, when I was in Dallas, it was just every bartender just had these giant and they were like teardrop shaped titties. Mm. I was like, what is in the water out here? And like someone's out. Nah, man, these are like, most of those are fake. They just mm. do so many. They're really good at them. In Dallas. And Dallas, yeah. Wow. And then um, Arizona too. Phoenix women, huge. Yeah, really. Yeah, oh yeah. So. 
Orange County was like, that was the one where the guys was crazy. Like they had the, remember Bruce Jenner? Remember that guy? Sure. Do you what about, happened? I don't know. It disappeared. I haven't seen it from it. It was good. Well, they uh, they had like the eye lift, that shit going on. Like the, uh, <laughs> where, you, where, where everything just looks like, uh, yeah, you were like in a wind tunnel or something like that. And I remember, because my wife watches all those Real Housewives. Mm -hmm. I used to think that like, okay, they just took an extreme version. This is not an accurate portrayal of it. And you go to Orange County, it's obviously not everybody, but it is, it's a, it's a, noticeable enough segment or maybe because i watched the show with her i i i noticed when i walked by i was playing the uh the improv in irvine you know i was walking between shows i was just walking through the mall or whatever and i just saw, i saw like three or four guys that just had that that bruce jenner fucking yank back kind of thing going on there so i don't know i don't know why you would do like i think you no. just you look so much better if you just kind of roll with your genetics yeah. yeah it is what it is it stays even right you know what i mean where it's just kind of like uh no, there's always places on the face you can't do. That's like Jane Fonda looks fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, she does. But then there's always gonna be that one spot where you're like, ugh. Like whether it's right around the eyes or the neck, there's always something horrifying that ages exactly like it should. Mm -hmm. So ninety percent of the face looks good, but then there's that one part where you're like, oh fuck, that's an old the, lady. The lips are tough. The lips Very always tough. give it away. They lose moisture. Oh uh -huh. fuck, she's one of the Andrews sisters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that, it's, I mean, it's the same thing when you see guys that get like hair plugs for every one that goes really well. You see a guy, like I saw a guy walking down the street the other day and he had buzzed his hair, but you could tell yeah. the oh. whole front was plugs and it was... Don't like, you love that? I love a horror show of hair plugs. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. do. How fucking... old was he? Because it depends. It was, it was really, they were really, really, really fucking bad. They're getting, but now that they vacuum, you, first of all, you used to get the big smiley face yep. scar. Right. Yep. Now they can just sort of vacuum the shit out and put it in. And then it takes for some people and it doesn't for <laughs> others. But they're trying to say like... Um, uh, someone was telling my podcast because I'm always like threatening to do it as a joke, you know, and um, they said that like that stem cell shit, if you, you shoot in the top of your head. So I was joking because I'm going to do this Eastern European tour coming up in January that I was going to go over there and find some Transylvanian doctor over there to fucking shoot it. in. And I was going to come back with the redhead version of like Farrah Fawcett hair. And, and, I, and I was never going to address it. Just coming back, <laughs> shaking my head before I spoke on everything. Um, he wasn't that he wasn't old enough for it to be bad. He probably just didn't want to spend a bunch of money. Yeah. Or something. No, it's it's uh... stem cells do it too. They they have those uh, they sh they they do those facials where they call vampire facials. I don't know if that's stem cells, but they shoot like your they do something with your blood, and then they put your blood back in. I think it's uh, a lot of whatever the fuck is in platelets, and then they shoot it into your face. And oh yeah, young people's blood. There's some sort of fetus involved. No, yeah, they just mush a fetus and they melt it down and shoot it in your face. But no, it's your own blood. <laughs> you know when they make avocado? You know that bowl? They just <laughs> More put a fetus in there. <laughs> you got to drink it and shake hands with the devil <laughs> to look six months younger, dude. If people are out of their fucking minds. Do they do it into your face? And they're supposed to be very good for like wrinkles and moisture or whatever. But it's put. It's obviously well, Jim, painful. I got to tell you. You've kind of been reverse aging, man. I mean, if I look yeah. at some of the pictures of you from back in the day, like, yeah, you were uh, hideous. Yeah, you look like, <laughs> you look like a beat cop. <laughs> oh, gum, gum shoot, Jimmy. <laughs> then you started doing the pull-ups, man. Like, you don't have a wrinkle on your face. Yeah, my face is held up okay, and there's other things that have made my face wrinkle-free. Uh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, Caligula was right. It works. <laughs> and not a drop of booze either. No, that, that helps. helps. Not smoking. I think quitting smoking helped a lot too in 2001. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you smoked. I smoked for 17 years. Yeah, and I quit. When you quit, that helps a lot. See guys that smoke when they're 50, like, ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the benefit to uh, never being uh, attractive is that when you start to fall apart, it's not like it's a heartbreaker. Yeah, no one, no one says, hey, what happened to Sam? Exactly. That guy fell off. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. That's the thing about all those beautiful people. Is that, that, that's what they, like, the ugliest people in the world would say shit like, oh, my God, did you, did you see so-and-so? What the fuck happened to her? It's like, the same thing that happened to you. You just, yeah. you just <laughs> fell off a curb. Right. So nobody heard yeah. you hit the pavement. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, it's the better it, it gets you like later later in life is where it starts to reap the rewards. But no matter how mediocre you are, you yeah. or you look, you always feel it. Like I, I look at myself, I'm like, fuck, you put way back. Like, whatever it is, you still like, you know, it still comes out. Yeah, but you're a psychotic. You eat like a tiny right. little candy bar, and you look at your gut like, oh my god, I'm getting fat again. No, but you know, it's just the way you look at yourself. You hey, he holds himself to a higher standard. Right, and I don't feel it's good for you. Oh no, I didn't. To, to shame him, he is shaming me. I don't like it. I just, Jim has had food issues. They are shaming as me as far back as I have known, and it's so brave. The way he judges himself after a three musketeer mini. <laughs> <laughs> the fun size. It's brave. <laughs> it's about body positivity. Okay. Let, let's actually bring some sort of comedy to this. Okay. <laughs> you got really mad at me last night. Yes. Before we went to bed. I'm not going to say who I was looking at either. All right? <laughs> yeah, Out of not. protection. <laughs> this is what happened to me. <laughs> Mia's fucking on her side trying to go to sleep, and I got the laptop. And I start doing the IMDB thing, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, 
Yeah, she doesn't believe this. So I find I find some salad, right? And it says that, you know, she did a spread in Playboy. So I'm like, oh, really? Wow, I want to see her naked. So I go to click on images. I swear to God, I'm on Google Images. And some, the second I clicked on one of the naked pictures, this other window came up with somebody talking. who I don't remember what they were saying. But you know. immediately assumed that I was watching porn because when you click on a porn... That window that opens up behind those the window. Those webcams, those girls on the webcams, they pop up and they're like, "Hey, daddy." No, they don't. Da, they da, usually da, pop da. up and they go, "Ah, oh, yeah, fuck it." And you try to say, "They go, what is that? First time you hear it, you're like, where's that voice coming from? Is somebody hacked into my computer and they're mocking the porn that I'm watching?" And then you go, and "It's just, oh, there's some fucking housewife sitting there, yeah, with a pickle, um, a couple of kids running around the background. It's a tough economy." God. So she immediately assumed that I was watching porno, and I was like, I wasn't. And I literally backtracked through the fucking thing. I backtraced it, and I showed you what I was watching. And, and you I just, called you a fucking scumbag. Fucking scumbag, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> and then there it is. It's like, you're watching porn, too, if you know that that happens. Well, so? Well, not right then. But I'm not watching a fucking lion next to you in bed. You dirtbag, which you were. And well, you if I, if, no, if you're going to look at naked ladies on a computer next naked to what? me in bed, ladies, <laughs> <laughs> while lying in bed. So whether you're watching porn or not, I still stand by those harsh it's words. Playboy, I you. it's artistic. Oh, please. They don't show the clam there. <laughs> <laughs> they just show a nice little, uh, you know. Yeah, and I heard that pop up muff. in that breathy little, oh my God, this and that. And, and I knew what you were doing, and I fucking screamed at you. Do you honestly you deserved think? It. You fucking deserved right, wait a minute, wait a minute. To lie next to me and be looking at porno <laughs> while in bed with your future wife, you fucking scumbag. I don't take any of it back. Wait a minute. You're a dirt bag, and you deserve <laughs> To be yelled at. Do you honestly think? In life and on the podcast. You know what's funny is we got such a great mattress here that I think I could actually rub one out without you noticing. That's, that's nice. That's what they that's should nice. do. That's what they should that's do in that commercial. Nice. You know that commercial where they have the wine on one side and the guy's jumping up and down? They should have some guy with his hand inside his I'm fucking sure jam jams, fucking jerking like this already. and looking at the camera, giving the thumbs up. Um, yes, yeah, well. I don't, you, just, you just see the bedspread fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we get it. So, yeah. You so, that's what you think I was doing? That's that is what you were doing. Maybe you weren't looking at actual pornography I was, videos. It wasn't pornography. At, it was a nude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was naked pictures of another fucking woman. You got caught, uh, and I screamed at you, and you fucking deserved it. All right. You called me a lot of harsh words. Well, you deserved it to do it while you're lying in bed next to me. What kind of man are you? <laughs> you take on one of that level. <laughs> That might be that quote of the podcast. Oh, I just wanted to look at this naked girl, and then and what happens? I was tempted. You got found out. I was on IMDb, and then this oh, temptress with, with her photos. IMDb, and what IMDb had a link to her right. fucking naked videos, and there's right. some other fucking pop-ups that come up. You were caught, and here's you're Here's a move for you guys. And you're trying to make it funny. For all the guys listening right now, oh, here's the move in this moment. Yeah. Hey, if I want to look at a naked broad on my goddamn computer... All right, I'm going to do it. You absolutely can. But well, to do right, it then. while you're sharing our fucking would-be marital bed, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to call you names. I'm going to shame you. And that's how it is. It's impossible to shame me after my childhood. <laughs> you're shamed. That's why we're talking about it right now. No, no. I was trying to, have to bring up something fucking funny. Mm -hmm. Sacrificing me. Don't anyway, give me that fucking look. Give me a So break. that's how it is. Yes, I looked at a fucking naked actress. All right? Uh-huh. There you go. And I enjoyed it, and I'll do it again. No, you didn't, because I screamed at you, and it well, took that part all the joy enjoy. away from, <laughs> from you. There was a lot of shame. <laughs> no, I, I was so, like, so, you know what it was? I wasn't prepared, and then that lady's voice, ah, yeah, fuck it, yeah. And then you fucking rolled over, and you were just fucking in my grill. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there just stuttering, trying to shut it off. <laughs> I couldn't find the mute button. It's unreal. Yeah, well. You don't do that. That's rude. Hey, it, I didn't set out to do it. It's the internet. Eventually, you're going to you end up at a fucking naked picture. You didn't set out to do it. You lied here with the specific intent of looking at a woman naked no, I on the internet. Yes, you did. No, you I said, didn't. oh, I want to see those pictures, and you clicked on it. No, that's not what I and did. And what you didn't uh, expect. You start in the middle of the story. What you didn't expect uh, was there to be a pop-up to you appeal to the kind of perverts over the head that you are money. and to rat you out. I buy stuff. I put food that's in the fridge. That's what happened. I can't look at one fucking broad. Let me tell you, you something. You absolutely can look at you yeah, on the road. I swear to God, I'm going to take one of these pillows and I'm going to put it over your face but until you shut it. to lie next to me in bed and be looking at some naked women and get found out like that, yeah, you're going to get called on it. What do you expect? I'm going to snuggle up tonight. Ooh, let's look at it together. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, that might have been one of the greatest fuck yous I've ever had. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a thing. Of, you guys got to admit, when it comes to fucking just laying somebody out and laughing. Them... <laughs> All right. Nia, I have to tell you this. What? I didn't go. I didn't tell my computer and be like, Whoa, I'm going to look at this naked girl while you're laying next to me. Mm-hmm. I went on ID, IMDB. Mm-hmm. And I'm such a weak, pathetic person mm-hmm. that within three you seconds, are. I ended up on that. But that's not. I'm like one of those guys who's fucking did the crime. This is second degree. This isn't premeditated. I didn't fucking walk in there like, I'm going to look at this girl, okay? okay? I walked in, okay? I saw the gumballs <laughs> sitting there. Stomach was growling. I said, fuck it, I'm grabbing them, and I got caught. So, yes, I did rob the fucking store, but I wasn't sitting at home going, you know what I'm going to do today? All right? This I just throw a naked woman in there, and you have the fucking explanation. This you were looking at, you knew who she was. You knew that she posed naked. You knew, because you know who this person is, all right, without going any further. So for you to sit here and try to act like, oh, my gosh, I was just investigating someone's, like, acting history. Justin IMDb Timberlake showed Wiki, his fucking you know, blah, blah. wiener on the goddamn internet. You'd look at it. What does that have to do with anything that we're talking about right now? Because you know what? You were right. You know what? You, were right. you know what? Finish? You know Can I what? finish? Can I finish? Bro, you're trying to do Can that I classic, finish? you know, sort of. Can I finish? Three, you were right up until three minutes ago. Throwing other subjects in there to try to throw me off base, but you're not going to do that, Playboy, because I'm smarter than you. All right. All right. All right. I'm let's not, let's not be with quoting that. dialogue from a bad cop show. You're not going to do that, Playboy. Why don't you I put like your, little, your little gumball fucking siren on top of your non-existent car? Listen to me. You were right up until three minutes ago. Which, which was now? Right? You know what you're doing? Now you're hamming it up. Oh, you're hamming am I it up. It yeah. Up the you know what? That's Here we so go. Different Here from we what go. usually <laughs> happens on the podcast. Right. You should have ended with "fuck you." Can you please do that again? No. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, there you go, people. That is the podcast. That's the neologue. That's the neologue. All right, listen, I'm sorry that I looked at a uh, talented actress naked. You know, what do you want me to do? Talented actress? Huh? Will you shut up and stop outing the person? <laughs> you already fucking left like 90 clues. What is wrong with you? I didn't. Be mad at me. Don't be mad at her. I'm not mad at her. Okay, well, then wrong. quit fucking doing that, all right? See, keep, you're doing keep it, it again. Keep I'm it at me. This, no, I'm not. This is no, about her. Oh, this is about you. God. This is about you. And you know what? This is what happens. You know shit. what? This, this is what happens every night around 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And then she fucking drives me out of the house and I go out and do stand-up. Okay? So which, are you going out today? Yes, I am. And you can watch all your stupid... What was, that? what was that fucking show you were watching? It was, one? The show about the swimmer who doesn't get anything but swimming. What would Ryan Lochte do? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's, yes. ha- he's hamming it up. He's is hamming. he? Yes. I don't know that he is. He's traveled the fucking world. He's won gold medals. No, Nia, no. Yeah, no. You, th- you, you say like he's traveled the world and met with diplomats. He's traveled the world and jumped from pool to pool. He has met with diplomats. When he won a fucking gold medal, all of a sudden he get the key to the city. This guy's cut ribbons. He, okay, and he shakes yeah, hands. Yeah, he's, he's opened he zoos. The- <laughs> this guy's opened zoos. Okay, you, you're not that d- He's not that dumb. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's uh, hot, and that's really all that matters. Okay, Ultimately. and now now do I get upset that I'm sitting on a couch and you're sitting there looking at fucking... Oh, that's what you said the other night. You see this mm-hmm. look on your face, and I'm like, you're not enjoying this show? And you're like, no, I'm looking at those abs. Yeah, and if I was lying next to you looking at naked pictures or whatever of Ryan Lochte, then you would absolutely have something to say about it. So wait a but minute. But that's not what happened. No, no, no. I was watching a show. Well, okay, e. okay. So the bed bedroom is, is, is not cool. Yeah, the okay? bedroom is our fucking bedroom. It's where we... I know you what know, you do in a bedroom. bedroom. It's a sacred oh, space. Do you believe this shit, guys? Do it's a this? fucking would, would sacred space. Would you believe space? that okay? a swell guy Can like me would have, have to put swell. up with this shit? Can we not have the bedroom at least? Okay, but if, but if I did it in the living room, if I did it in the living room, that would have been okay? If I'm not in the bed with you, yeah, you're outside. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. There's no. There's no bed in the living room. If I'm in the fucking living room. I can look at a picture of a naked woman on the computer. I, I swear, got no problem with I just want okay. And then if I hit on the thing, and all of a sudden it goes, ah, oh, yeah, fucking right there. Oh my god, you're not, <laughs> you're not gonna have a problem with that. Not in the living room, no. But while lying in bed next to me, that's a problem. I can live with that. So we're, so we're absolutely. So I apologize. I didn't know that that was the rule. And once again, Nia, I was just looking at a fucking picture. All right, I'm a fucking guy. She's a naked woman. Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to do? Go. What it's mean, free. It's do? free. One click away. How do I resist? Do? As if you had no choice. I really don't. The way I'm wired, I don't. All right. Oh please. I don't accept that. Oh the fuck you. Wired. You know what, Nia? What the if there was I'm what? Wired. Please. No, I don't accept really? that. 
Nia, what if there was a store you could just walk into and there's a bunch of free shoes? Are we in a store right now? Or Wait are we a in minute. the fucking bedroom? It's a fucking metaphor. It doesn't matter. We're not talking about metaphors. We're talking about what actually happened. I'm talking about how you're wired versus how I'm wired. Okay. We're you're wired, wired to get you like stuff. You guys, <laughs> you're into shit. You like hats. You like fucking shoes. If, if a free hat or a free <laughs> pair <Hats>. of shoes <laughs> was a click away, you'd fucking do that right in front of me in the bed. You would. And then, hear, and then I'd hear somebody, oh, it's a tiny too, it's a too. And a fucking... free hat is not the same as what you were doing. It's just not. The end. Yeah, and you started not, to you're, apologize you're not, you're not. for it, and now you're trying to backtrack. Because I was trying to fucking apologize, you keep coming at me like a goddamn meerkat. I don't try to keep coming at you. You should keep trying to, like, excuse yourself for what you did, and you know that it's wrong. Listen, you know what? I know you think that you're doing some amazing shit here where you're just not back in doubt, okay? Oh, First of all, what are you going to do to me, Nini? Huh? What are you going to do? Huh? You're going to body slam me? I'm bigger than you. I already said I'll I have no problem with you. I'll push you right off this fucking bed. Looking at porn or whatever it is that you do, I have no problem with that. But if you're lying in bed next to me, and then I and I, bed, and I and I said and okay. That, and I that's said a problem. I fucking said call okay. I said okay. And I said okay. So then we have nothing left to discuss. End of podcast. Why do women always take the ball and go home? <laughs> How old are you? There, I'm on that point. It's over. End end of game. I won. <laughs> I'm going home. Huh? All right, whatever. All right, that was the podcast for this fucking... <laughs> Look at me, that self-satisfied laugh. All right, that's the, that's the uh, Neolog this week. It's therapeutic. You, as you can see why uh, I don't have her on that much anymore. <laughs> I know, I'm never on anymore. It's because you're busy. Yeah, busy doing stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not doing shit. Chastising you. All right, see ya. Um, all right, so let's, let's, get, let's, get on to our, let's get on to our argument. So... We're, we're flying back from New York City. How amazing was I at Town Hall? You were amazing. Standing yeah. ovation. That's right. You fucking right I am. How insecure am I that I had to make you say that for the sixth time? <laughs> You're insecure, but I love I know. you. Exactly. All right. So let's <laughs> plow ahead here. Um, so we're flying back from uh, where we were, Boston at that point. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if we'd already watched the YouTube clip or whatever. Rihanna had gone on TV talking to Diane Sawyer, mm -hmm. breaking it down. Talking about, um, you know, getting the shit kicked out of her by that dude with the beaver teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> he really looks like a buck tooth beaver. He does. He has guy. no business being a pop star. <laughs> um, <laughs> he bit her too, right? He did. Why wouldn't you? You got to utilize your weapons. So we're sitting no, there, and it's this, real, it's this really sad interview, and she's just like, I just felt silly and stupid. No, for you need for B. So this is what I did. So it started <laughs> off as a joke, and I said, "All right, this is my impression." <laughs> so wrong. All right. I'd like to go on record as saying that I feel that this is so wrong, but I always right. laugh at the things you do that are so wrong. All right. Well, this is the deal. I was talking about how they. She was just saying that you know I found an inappropriate text message, and then things escalated, mm -hmm. and then next thing you know, he caved in my cheek. And started biting me and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, you know what? She left out a lot of the details. And because what I've learned with arguing with women is when women argue, when you, they're not winning or they're not getting you to admit that you're wrong, that at some point they make this switch in there where they're just like, I'm just going to make this person as mad as I possibly can by using every ounce of information that I know about them. So, truth? Uh, you know what? That's as good as a yes. Anyway, so... This is one of those in-the-moment jokes. I can't even remember what they said. I said, this is my impression of, <laughs> of the conversation before. I can't remember what, how I did it, though. I was like, <laughs> wish you'd from Barbados. But for some reason, I started doing this really bad Jamaican accent. <laughs> and I go, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Who, who be sending you the text, man? <laughs> Yo, fuck you, bitch. I ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> Yo, man, who gave you the text message, you fucking buck tooth bee? I can't remember what it Somehow I talked oh, about his teeth. And you were laughing your fucking ass off. Yeah, it was funny. I can never recreate that. That's why I had to tap out. And you were laughing your fucking ass off, and it was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. And But then, like, halfway through it, I started making my point of how I'm so sick of every time a woman gets the shit kicked out of her. Not every time, but all these women, they always get, they always get to show guys in that bad light of all these guys who beat the shit out of their women. But they never show when women fuck over guys, ever, in those situations, ever. Like... You know, the situations that, that, that I've seen where, you know, a friend of mine, you know, she slammed the door into him and then just called the cops and said that he hit her right, right. and they, without question, arrest him. Mm -hmm. And then that fucked up his job and now everybody looks at him like he's a wife beater and he never even did it. Right. Yeah. 
how come Oprah never does shows about that? That was our big argument. And then she somehow, you know me, the way I say shit, somehow it seemed like I was advocating that the guy did nothing wrong. Or and, that, like, just, you know, all women are these horrible, manipulative creatures. Yes. And... <laughs> you're, not, you're not horrible, manipulative creatures, but you guys, you definitely manipulate. 